Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm going to show you the really cool things that you can do with shapes in pages to create our minimalist poster. So for this one, I'm just going to mess around with the different things that you guys can do with shapes. Um, in another video, I'll show you what you can do with color. Um, and then also there'll be one more video about just adjusting and moving things around with layout. So let's go ahead and begin. So to start out, there are two, dif there's several different ways that you guys can create custom graphics using shapes in pages. So first, if you just go up to the shape area there, they do have very basic shapes, but if you scroll down, they also have different ones that you can just start off with and, um, and change. So I will say if you start out with someone that has people, it's pretty simple to use, but I'm not quite sure that it gives you as much freedom. So I'm going to just stick to using the basic ones. So to make it really easy, I'll just go ahead and pick the square, I mean the, the square, so you can make it bigger or smaller. If you hold down the shift key, it will actually keep it um, proportional, so it'll be like a perfect square on four sides. Um, another thing that you can also do is you can combine shapes and subtract and take away to create new shapes. So for example, let's say I wanted to do a half circle. There's no half circle option here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the circle option. I would make it bigger, and I'm actually gonna pick a different color so you can see a bit of contrast here. And then I would going to send this to the back, and then I'm gonna take a square and put it over. And the reason I'm adjusting it because I wanna cut it in half in here, there is an option where if you select both shapes or more than one shape. So to do that, you would just click one and either hit shift or control or control, but I'm just going to hold shift. And if you go to up here where it says arrange and you scroll to the bottom, you get this nice little toolbar that shows up. Now it doesn't show up if you don't have any, if you don't have any shapes chosen or just one shape chosen, it's not going to come up. But if I hit shift and select one more, then it comes down here. So unite does exactly what it sounds like. It turns it all into one shape intersects, what happens is it'll take um, whatever was on top and take it away. And I'm sorry, that's subtract. So then here, that square that was on top took it away. Um, intersect, I think, takes what's behind that square, and that's exactly what happened. Or you can also do exclude. And then the part that wasn't showing the is exactly what they took out and excluded. It's kind of hard to explain each one, but it's nice to experiment with them. So I always like to point out to people this toolbar because I think it gives you a lot of freedom. Um, some other things that you guys can do with shapes is if you ever wanted to rotate them, you just have to go, and I think it's you press down the command key, and when you go to an edge, because right now if I go to an edge, it just gives me a thing to make it bigger or smaller, but if I hold down command, you see it automatically changes it. Let me just get a little bit closer to an object that I can rotate. So if you ever wanted to rotate it, there are two different ways. Over here in the arrange one, you can go down and arrange it here or just hit command, go to a corner and arrange away. You can also flip things, which is really nice. Um, there you go. So just a little bit of an option for you guys to have. Now the other thing that you can do with shapes that's really, really helpful is that you can use the pen tool. And the pen tool is probably the most powerful thing, I think one of the most powerful things in pages in regards to graphic design. So how it works is, let's say I wanted to make a graphic for maybe a pug image that I download. So I have one here. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in. And before I do any kind of drawing, I want to make sure that I actually lock it because I don't want it to move. So when you drop the picture in and I select it here, let's see, I just want it to stay on the page. So I'm going to hit lock right here. I was with move with text, which is why that option got taken away. So if I hit lock now, like no matter what I do, it's going to be on there. This is where you guys can find the pen tool. Go up to where it says shape, and then it's right here. It says pen. Very good. So, and how the pen tool works now is, let me go back here, is you can literally draw around and create a custom shape. So, It depends how you want to do it. I just like to draw very kind of simple square lines because you'll be able to round them out later. This is a very bad example of this poor cute little pug's face. But I just want to make sure that I get around and I close my shape. You know I've closed my shape when that circle comes up right there. 
So now that I've closed my shape, it actually technically is a shape. But if you zoom in and you see, now all of a sudden there's these little circles. Well, I can then take these circles and adjust them to create that curved line. And so it just makes it a lot more smooth and rounded. Now also remember when you guys are creating shapes or graphics, you want to do several layers of them because had I done this before, I would have done actually just done the pug's face through here and not his ears because his ears would have been a different color. That would have been something that I would have tried. But I was just trying to give you an example very, very quickly. So almost done here. And then now if I actually go back and it's say I select my picture and I unlock it and let's say I just, I'm going to just turn down the opacity. There's my pug shape. So it's a really cool kind of idea, a piece of freedom that you have with the pen tool. And there's a lot of things. I suggest when you guys are drawing the pen tool, you want to go over here where it says border. Sometimes border might look like that, like it's all closed down. Open it up and you want to be on line and you want to make sure that your line is probably like a color that will stand out. So sometimes it could be white, it could be a bright pink. People do ones that they just feel are easy to see because you could always change it at the end. And then if I ever wanted to fill it, so I can open up my fill and then I can fill it with a bunch of different colors. One really interesting thing is, is that um, we'll get into this in the other one where you can actually use the eyedropper tool and take a picture of a certain color and color them with that face. But that's for the next video. So if you guys want to check it out, you just go ahead and click on the link. I hope you guys um, have some fun with the pen, the pen tool and the different things you can do with shapes in pages. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Just send me an email. Good luck.